Hello, hello guys, be here with La La Land Crafts. Today we're gonna be making a card together and color these beautiful images from the new release. For my card today, I'm gonna be using Skunk Pajamas Marcy, which she is absolutely adorable, and the scent with love. The paper pad that I'm gonna be using as well is the Love You More and i'm gonna be using a few dies the scallop rectangles die the scallop sentiment labels die and the flowers and hearts border die when you get these die you get the three dies so you get the stem and you get the hearts or the flower and because i'm doing this as a valentine card i'm gonna be using the hearts let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that I am going to do is color my images. Now the color theme that I chose or the color palette that I chose is to match my sequins mix that I made because we are making a shaker card. Shaker cards are my absolute favorite and I have put this mix together with sequins and little clay pieces from my stash. So this is the uh, color palette that we're gonna be using, like reds and pinks and all those fun colors. So I'm also gonna be using for the background this paper from the paper pad Love You More that I showed you previously. And do not worry about writing down anything because all the measurements for these and everything, all the colors I have used are gonna be in the description box below. I am going to speed this part up to not bore you <laughs> and then we'll continue. Okay, so why I color Marcy, I am gonna talk to you a little bit about my coloring process and the markers that I use. For her cheeks, I use R30. I think it's my favorite for coloring um, that blushy look. I just love it. And then I always start dark to light. That is just the way that I um, enjoy coloring more but you can always start light to dark or whatever is your preference so for Marcy for her skin I'm using for her cheeks as I mentioned R30 and then E37 for uh, the darkest spots um, these usually I add where I feel there should be like a darker spot or a shadow then after this I use E35 and E33, E11, and E00. I like with Marcy to um, do her eyes and uh, do uh, like a little bit of, of her, to define her nose as well. I know right now she looks super weird, but I promise it gets better. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish her skin and come back. When I'm done coloring their skin, I usually go back with the blush again. And for her eyes, I am using G09, G07, G05, and G02. Now for her lips, I'm gonna be using R22, R20, R00, and R triple zero and what I do is that I usually at the corner of her lips I add the darkest color and then I work my way in with the lightest uh, colors now this is an extra step I use a micron pen um, black ink to contour her eyes maybe add a little bit of eyelashes to her to make her look more feminine this part is totally optional i just adore her with the eyelashes so i'm gonna go ahead and do this part and be right back and this is how she looks with her fabulous eyelashes 
now let's color the rest of Marcy and as I mentioned with the skin I do the same with all my coloring I start with the darkest color and go my way to the lightest color I'm gonna speed this part for you and once they are both finished I'll come back to you Now that I'm done coloring Marcy, I think her pajamas need a little something extra and I love polka dots. So with my Sharpie white paint marker, I'm gonna be adding some dots. Um, no rhyme or reason here how to do it. I usually alternate the dots. So if I do a row of dots the next row it's going to be like in the empty space of between those two dots so i'm gonna go ahead and do that for her whole pajama For the little skunk, I'm going to be using exactly the same colors I used for Marcy, except the heart. The heart is going to be red. So let's go ahead and color him up and finish up our car.
Okay, now that Marcy and my little skunk our color we're gonna start putting our card together and this is the piece that i cut with the scallop rectangles die and now i'm just adding some double-sided tape and removing it with my pick tool and this is so we can put a piece of acetate so it can hold our sequence so it can be like the window i made a huge boo-boo here and my acetate sheet got stuck to my uh, tape but thankfully i was so lucky <laughs> that it actually landed perfectly so i didn't have to remove anything so just be careful when you're doing this and you don't make the same mistake i did and now I'm just adding uh, foam tape. This foam tape is uh, quite thick, which I like it because it doesn't heat the um, sequence. So I'm just adding my sequence and removing the uh, backing paper for my double-sided, um, I'm sorry, for my foam tape. And now I'm just gonna add it here. Now for this part, I use the flowers and hearts border die. I only use the stem part and the heart because this is a Valentine's card. I'm using my Burly Art wet glue to uh, glue down my heart. And let's go ahead and do that and I'll be back. Now it's time to add my images. So here I'm just figuring out exactly where I want to put them. And for this part, I am going to use foam tape so they pop out of the card. Let's go ahead and do that. For my sentiment, I use the Scallop Sentiment Labels die and I'm going to use this Be My Valentine. I'm going to grab my Micron pen and do a little bit of a dash dot dash dot around it just to add a little bit more to it and uh, I think I'm going to add a dimensionals to this but I'm going to be adding some dimensionals that aren't as thick as the ones I use for Marcy and the little skunk that way it has different levels so let's go ahead and do that before I continue, I added a little bit of a red paper to my sentiment, um, kind of like a little mat mm, underneath because it looked really plain when I put it on my car and I didn't like it and I like things more, I guess, complicated. <laughs> But I really like how it looks in this way and now I'm just going to put it on my card. And here is my card. I added my shaker part to a black uh, card base. I will add a piece of white cardstock inside to write a message and here is how it looks i absolutely love it make sure you guys to give this video a thumbs up leave me in the comments did you get this new release until next time